Good evening, peoples. I'm Pastor Leia. Uh, I would introduce you to my co-host, but she is off having a snack in the kitchen. So welcome back to our living room for our Tuesday Night Bible Study series. We have been reading through uh, some of the first uh, Psalms in out of the uh, 150 of them that, that there are. So there's there's quite a few that could be read. Uh, but tonight I wanted to read Psalm 5. So um, last week we had Psalm 4, which begins uh, to the leader with stringed instruments, which was the first time that musical instruments get mentioned in, in the book of Psalms. But tonight we have to the leader for the flutes, or at least it's usually translated as flutes. Um, yeah, I think there's like couple of variations. Uh, some translations just have like instruments. I don't know. Um, but yeah, to, to the leader for the flutes, plural even. So again, multiple people. I mean, if there's a leader, obviously there are multiple people by definition. But anyway, so um, yeah, as I've said, uh, this was basically the first hymnal. So uh, Psalm 5, <laughs> to the leader for the flutes. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Give heed to my sighing. Listen to my cry for help, my King and my God, for I plead to you. In the morning, Lord, you hear my voice. Early in the morning, I make my appeal and watch for you. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, and evil cannot dwell with you. Braggarts cannot stand in your sight. You hate all those who work wickedness. You destroy those who speak lies, the bloodthirsty and deceitful, O Lord, you abhor. But as for me, through the abundance of your steadfast love, I will go into your house. I will bow down toward your holy temple in awe of you. Lead me, Lord, in your righteousness, because of those who lie in wait for me. Make your way straight before me. For there is no truth in their mouth, there is destruction in their heart. Their throat is an open grave, they deceive with their tongue. Declare them guilty, O God, let them fall because of their schemes. Because of their many transgressions, cast them out, for they have rebelled against you. But all who take refuge in you will be glad. They will sing out their joy forever. You will shelter them so that those who love your name may exult in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. You will defend them with your favor as with a shield. This is the word of the Lord. So last week's psalm uh, began with stringed instruments and had a line about lying down and resting. For you alone, O Lord, give me peace. Um, whereas tonight we have flutes and a psalm that is said in the morning. So it's kind of a nice little, you know, like, Psalm 4 is you go to bed and then wake up and write the next psalm. Uh, were they written in order uh, as, as we have them in our Bibles? Probably not. <laughs> um, but having them that way, was, it, it makes sense to my brain, having things in order. Um, yes, so uh, this psalm, the psalmist um, is kind of torn between... Uh, people with the, who keep bragging and who are lying and who were jerks and the God, please let me into your temple and, and, and lead me in the straight way. But those, those the jerks um, kind of love how the psalmist kind of is going between those. Um, but the psalmist is saying, you know, like evil cannot dwell with you uh, because to dwell with God is to um, desperately want to live for good and righteousness and grace and, and truth and love, etc. Um, braggarts cannot stand in your sight uh, because they would... Can I help you? Mm. We have finished our snack and are now standing under the chair. Um, uh, you destroy those who speak lies, the bloodthirsty and deceitful. Um, maybe not necessarily destroying the individuals, but destroying uh, the part of them who are liars and bloodthirsty uh, people who um, deceive. Um, because to be in the presence of God is to um, want to live the way that God would have us live. Anyway, so uh, the Psalms is saying, you know, like, you you are um, goodness and you are more powerful than anyone who is bragging about anything. You will win over anyone who deceives. You are the ultimate peace over the bloodthirsty. 
I want that. Uh, as for me, I will go into your house. I will bow down and worship in awe of you. Um, but also with a caveat of um, lead me, make your way straight before me because of those who lie in wait for me. Um, I kind of like to think that that's um, not just maybe like literally military enemies, uh, people who are actively seeking harm, um, but those who lie in wait, uh, maybe the people who tempt you to mistreat others, the people who tempt you to be selfish, the people who tempt you to, um, you know, work for something that isn't ultimately for the good of God. Um, yeah, and like he recognizes there's no truth in their mouth. There is destruction in their heart. Their throat is an open grave. That's a very powerful turn of phrase there. Uh, there's, yeah, there's, some, there's some good imagery throughout the Psalms. And I really like their throat is an open grave. Yeah. Which does, you know, kind of imply the open grave can be filled. So maybe um, the destruction and the lying can be silenced. Uh, maybe it will, you know, and the grass will grow over the grave and the flowers and I, I don't know. I, I don't know where I'm going with this continued metaphor. Um, yes. Um, you know, like, the, again, there's there's these these liars with, with their throats are open graves, but all who take refuge in you will be glad. So, again, it's kind of a teetering between the anger and the please help me, the anger and the please help me. Um, yeah, all who take refuge uh, with you will be glad, and they will sing out their joy forever. Um, for you will shelter them. And uh, yeah, those that, who love your name. This is also the first reference to um, your name. Um, I don't know what that was, but she's kicking something. Um, in in the book of Psalms, and that that will come up a number uh, of more more times. So. Um, Yes, it's a, it's a request um, to like be in the presence of God and to uh, be in a state of uh, calm, um, literally sanctuary, away from the people who are just filling your head with the, the lies and the bragging and uh, the open grave throats and the deceit um, to be hearing God and not to be hearing those earthly voices uh, to set yourself apart and be able to have um, more time for reflection and prayer and joy in the Lord and exalting um, rather than being frustrated and maybe tempted by all of these other voices. So um, yeah, Psalm 4, uh, 5 with, uh, with flutes this time. Definitely not played by me. I was terrible. That was, that was very, very bad flautist. Um, anyway, so we, would you like to come up? One moment. Cat. Oh, we can close in prayer. Holy God, all goodness and truth comes from you. Keep us safe from evil and lead us in the paths of justice, that we may know the joy of trusting in you, through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. waving good night. Uh, so uh, tomorrow is Ash Wednesday, so you should join us at, at the, the church for our, our service for that at 7. Um, and so since tomorrow being Ash Wednesday begins the season of Lent, uh, next week we will start a, a Lenten Bible study series looking at some of the art that goes along with our worship series for the season called Seeking from a Sanctified Art, um, taking a closer look into those texts alongside beautiful art that was um, created to go with those texts. Um, so, yes, um, this is your last opportunity to use the word Alleluia, since it is a church, I mean, I, I can't make you say or not say anything, uh, but it is a, a tradition of not using that word during the season of Lent, which I think is cool, uh, kind of a reminder that we're focusing on ourselves and our own sin, um, which is maybe not something we're quite so inclined to do. You know, humanity likes to not think about that, uh, generally speaking. Um, but having that kind of limit, definitely. I don't know. It, it changes my wording anyway. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. You, you enjoy your poonchkis if you're a Midwesterner sort of person who's into poonchkis. I had never heard of them until I started making friends for Michigan. 
never heard of them. <laughs> Um, or, or pancakes or, uh, you know, blintzes, what, what, what have you. So uh, enjoy those. Um, tomorrow we'll, we'll get our, our smudges on and uh, Lent will begin. So, good night.